Hi, I'm Dennis Phillips, and welcome to Everyday Reloading and Shooting. Recently, I was doing a load test where I developed this load running 21.6 grains of H335 powder with a 73 grain ELD match bullet. And I ran these charge weights from 21 grains to 23.7. And I found this load in here at 21.6 that seemed to work pretty well. And so I decided to develop that. And so I loaded 25 rounds at that charge weight, and these were the results I got. And you see these groups at 3.9, 3.1, 6 and 3 quarters, 2.19, and 4.9. But in any event, we shot 25 of these, and these grouped horribly. And, and it almost looks as if I can't shoot. And my thinking was that the scope was bad on that until I shot this next group of targets with Varget powder and they actually grouped very well. So one thing I will say which is different, when I loaded those first 25 rounds of H335, I did so dispensing directly from the RCBS Uniflow powder dispenser. So I used the dispenser and a digital scale to make sure that the dispenser was throwing the proper charge weight. And then I dispensed each of those loads directly into the case by putting the case mouth up to the powder dispenser and pulling the charging handle. So every one of those were within a tenth of a grain of accuracy. So today I loaded another 25 rounds. And this time I used the Hornady Auto Charge Pro. So I'm going to load up 25 rounds and I'm going to take these to the range and see if I get the same result. 21.6 grains. So we're going to load up 25 of these, shoot them, and see how they compare to the last time when they shot so poorly. And so I've loaded 25 more at that same charge weight and we'll see if these shoot differently or not. Another thing is when I cleaned my rifle barrel before the range, normally I'll clean it using a bronze brush. This time I cleaned it using a bristle brush and solvent and got the barrel pretty clean. I don't think it's quite as clean as when I use the bronze brush. So this time when I go to the range, I'm going to clean the barrel with the bronze brush. And we have these charged through the Auto Charge Pro. And so we'll see how these compare. All right, so today I'm rerunning this test. I initially developed this load at 21.6 grains of H335 powder with a 73 grain ELD match bullet. And I thought that would shoot well. So my last time out at the range, I had loaded 25 of those. And here's a picture of that target with the results. And these scattered wide with several bullets missing the target altogether and one of these actually shooting almost a seven inch group for two shots and then the other three were off of the paper altogether. So I have charged 25 rounds using the Hornady Auto Charge Pro. I've cleaned my barrel with a bronze brush and um, I think the last thing that was different was that I used a nylon brush. So I'm going to redo this test with 25 rounds of H335, 21.6 grains of powder, and we'll see if these scatter like they did before, and if they do, then I'll know it's the load. If they don't, then I'll know it was something different with how the cases were charged or something. But anyway, we're going to rerun these. So as always, you're welcome to enjoy the music while I fast forward through my shooting, or you can skip forward to the results at the end, shooting at 100 yards.
All right, I have no idea what happened last time out, but these shot considerably better than before. I did have one group that was kind of scattered and maybe a couple of flyers here, but for the most part, these grouped really well. So let's bring them in and take a look. And this was my barrel fouling group. I shot five shots here. Looks like about 1.2 inches with the best four out of five at about three quarters. But look at here. There's an inch group. That's probably just under an inch. Here, I was my aiming point is the bottom of the circle. For whatever reason, when I took my first shot, I was aiming at the top of the circle. So I went ahead and shot the rest of the group aiming at the top of the circle so the point of impact was a little bit higher on those but got a really tight four out of five there and about a one inch group all together here i had a flyer shooting down into the right but very tight cluster here on number three pretty tight group on number four and then we had number five was a little scattered with a flyer off to the side here and then this is probably about a 1.2 inch group here, I'm guessing. But in any event, totally different from the last time out. Compare that to the previous target here. And you'll see what I'm talking about. But we will take these home, measure them, and give you the final results. Here are my results from the range today. So once again, I loaded 25 rounds of 73 grain ELD match bullet with H335 powder at 21.6 grains with CCI 400 primers. And I went back out to the range and, and these were dispensed with the Hornady Auto Charge Pro. So here we go. Uh, these were all at the same charge weight. Our first group had an extreme spread of 0.89 inches with the best four out of five at 0.47. So inside of an inch <clears throat> and inside of a half inch on the best four out of five, I think that's pretty good shooting. And the second group had an extreme spread of 0.94 with the best four out of five at 0.49. Still good shooting, I think. We dropped down to the next group and we had a flyer here. So we had a group of 1.35 inches. This was Probably a bad trigger pull on my part, most likely. But we had a best 4 out of 5 at .49, so that's showing you how the rifle is shooting and what it's capable of. When we come down to groups number 4 and 5, on 4 we have a .81 extreme spread and a .60 best 4 out of 5, so that's pretty decent. And then over here on group number 5, we were really scattered here. But most likely, I would say it was probably just a bad trigger pull, maybe on my part, because they were all loaded with the Auto Charge Pro, so I'm, th I'm not thinking there was any difference in the consistency. So looking at some of these others, as far as the consistency, group number four, there was nine sixteenths of an inch difference in the height there. So that velocity, I would say, was very consistent. Then going back up to group three, we had 11 sixteenths of an inch. That's just under three quarters. So fairly consistent on the velocity there. And especially when you, again, look at the best four out of five, those are grouped at under a half an inch. So you would say that the velocity on those had to have been very tight. So when you look at this group, the difference is 13 sixteenths of an inch so we're getting close to an inch now and they're a little more spread out but the four that grouped together they were at under a half an inch and we had one flyer here away from the group that made it an extreme spread of 0.94 so shooter error difference in velocity who knows but the difference in velocity seems to be fairly consistent around three quarters of an inch here's one at seven eighths of an inch and our group size there was 0.89, and our best four out of five was 0.47. So 
the height difference doesn't always equate to a best group size. So like here, for example, we're at 11 sixteenths of an inch, which indicates a pretty decent difference in velocity. But because of probably a flinch or a bad trigger pull, this one pulled to the right because all of them seem to be fairly well centered on the targets between left and right. Some of the difference has to do more with the elevation as far as the grouping. But in any event, I had three out of five that grouped at an inch or under. The extreme spread average of all five targets, including this crappy one at 2.29 inches, was 1.26. The best four out of five average 0.64. And then as far as the how many of the four out of five grouped under a half an inch, three out of five grouped the best four out of five at under a half an inch. And then just out of curiosity, if I was to back out that last group, my average extreme spread, including this crappy group at 1.35, would be 1.0, with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.51. And that, if you average those two numbers together, your extreme spread and your best 4 out of 5, that gives you a score of 76. Whereas with group number 5, that gives me a score of 95. You see the difference in the results when you use the auto charge versus dispensing directly into the case mouth. Yes, those could have been weighed out with a beam scale and measured individually, but the H335 powder, just to give you a look at it here, this is what we call a ball, a ball powder, and it also has a flake in there, but this is such a fine powder that this dispenses very consistently out of the powder dispenser, and these charges were measuring within a tenth of a grain of each other because I was checking them periodically on a digital scale, but a beam scale would have been better, and I probably could have avoided this by weighing, it, by weighing out the charges with a beam scale. That's what I'm thinking, because the Auto Charge Pro dispenses that electronically and automatically, and I don't do anything other than dump the powder into the case with a funnel. So anyway, those are my results. That's my analysis. I think it was probably the powder measure and dispensing is what made the difference there. Maybe that and a combination of a difference in the barrel and how I cleaned it, uh, like I mentioned. So uh, in any event, there you go. That's it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. So if you have any ideas or thoughts about this video, please feel free to leave a comment below. Or if there's anything that you would like to see in the future, please let me know that. I always try to interact with everyone who comments. And I hope that you will like and share this with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.